fucking check engine light. I think it had it, did it? No, it had it in there. Yeah? Yeah. Let me check. I remember, man. I'm pretty sure. Oh, let me turn you guys off for one second. I think y'all clean it up, man. If you're new to the channel, my name is Tomate, and dang, my battery is gonna be dying again. I'm with the boy Omar, but today I am finally picking my Mustang up for sure, man. It's been three weeks. I've been trying to pick my Mustang up. I've been waiting for three weeks. Then with all these complications and everything, I gotta get my GoPro because this thing likes to die really quick. All right, go. we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Um, but anyways, guys, man, I've been waiting three weeks to get this car. I'll tell you guys why I had to wait so long, why I had you guys waiting so long. I'm not sure if I want to reveal the car to you guys today. Oh, I forgot another thing that I need this too. But I'm with the boy Omar. My boy Omar is about to take me to the car dealership right now. Um, and we're about to go pick up my Mustang, man. I'm excited, man. Although I've been waiting for three weeks because it's been like every day I was thinking I was going to get my Mustang every single next day that the dealership and the thing told me but today is the day and we going yo yeah, what up guys what up guys yeah, we about to be 5-0 gang deep now man yeah, yeah. I'll tell you I'll get you guys at the dealership man because we gotta get there right now we are pulling up to the dealership right now I'm not sure if I really want to show y'all the car the color of the car because it's a mystery man a lot of people have been asking me you know where's the car what color is the car this and that about the car i've been keeping it a secret and that's why i did not show y'all in the last video i don't think y'all was even able to catch it at all uh, when i that's really the video when i said hitting the dealership for the new mustang but we're right down the street from it i'm gonna get the negotiation and everything else for the closing process of this car and i'm gonna try to record most of that and then man we finally gonna be in the 5-0 gang and start getting this content back on track man every single week Videos coming, man, and we about to catch up to Omar's ass because he ain't about to be the prettiest one on the street no more. All right, guys, we are making this happen, man. We are walking out today with the car, finally, man. I'm gonna record a lot of things after like when I get some time because I do got to go to work like right after this so I don't even think I'm gonna show y'all the car today to get a proper visualization and a proper introduction of the car man but I swear I gotta make this this video right man the next video for sure I'm gonna show y'all the whole car today I'm just gonna show y'all the inside of me driving it that's it because it's raining outside and it's not sunny so we gotta make it look good on the first one so stay tuned for the next video for sure all right, guys, we just finished up the paperwork, signed all the papers, put the money down for the car, and the car is ready for me you right here, set? man. Yeah, we're all, all set, man. We got your plates on it, man. Woo, thank you. I put gas on it for you guys. Oh, you put gas in it for sure, thanks. So you're all I definitely set, man. appreciate that. Just do me a that. favor, and don't try and race him yet. No, oh, no, <laughs> I ain't, no, <laughs> yeah, I already know. It's got a new clutch and everything in there, and everything, so yeah, no, but I ain't gonna be racing it. Congrats, man. You got the paperwork and everything already? Yeah, I got the paperwork and everything. Congrats, it's a real sweet ride. Thank you, thank you. What happened to the other uh, bezel in there? But all oh, the it's flesh sure. trim? Yeah. I don't think it had it, did it? No, I didn't had it in there. Did yeah. it Yeah. I remember, man. I'm pretty sure. Fuck it. Anyways, I don't know. I know it we, took a while, man. Be doing, yeah, I know it took, it took forever. It took forever to get this car. Three weeks, man. It's been three weeks, yeah, guys, I've been waiting for this car. With all this coronavirus stuff going on, I guess I was being told one thing and being told another. I, it was out of my control, guys, so I don't know. That's why I had you guys waiting, but now the Mustang is here. I'm looking at it right now, man. This thing is so beautiful, man. I swear. But I'm not gonna show you, I'm not gonna show y'all the car right now, man. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I'm not gonna show y'all. Because it's raining outside and it's gloomy, and I do have to go to work soon. I wanna get the proper invitation for this car, man. Oh, yo. Welcome to the new whip. All right. All right. All right, guys. Bro, I don't, I own a, I own a, I didn't even let you guys know what car, 2014 5.0 Mustang. Starting it up for the first time. Well, for the second time, because I test drove it. 
Oh, yes, sir. He said he filled up the tank, bro. What the fuck? I'm on half a tank. What the hell? Okay, I ain't really too... Nah, I need a full tank, bro. I was looking for a full tank for sure. I can't even, like... This is my car. I have a fucking 5.0 now. I got two cars now. I, I got two cars. Two nice cars. And I'm in a 5.0. But right now, it's mine for sure. I don't even know what to think right now, man. Yo, we gotta let my boy Omar in. <laughs> we gotta let my boy Omar in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, snap. Y'all can't see. Y'all can't see the car. Y'all can't see the car. <laughs> bro, I don't even know what to think right now. Bro, it's on half a tank, bro. I mean, Should I go back in there? I mean, it's <laughs> He said oh, he left your registrations shit. right here. All right, your registrations sure, right sure, sure. Clean. Yo, it is clean. We got the cloth seats. I actually prefer cloth seats rather than leather Wait, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And these things are actually pretty damn comfortable. Yeah, I, I mean, it's my first time sitting, well not first time, but I only sat in them um, a couple of times. And obviously when you sit in the car, it's gonna be feeling pretty you know, new and comfortable for the first times rather than sitting in your same car you've been sitting in for a year or something like that. But these do feel pretty good. We got like a little shift knob right here. I don't know, everything's gonna be changed, man. I, uh, probably in the next video, I want to do it in this video, but I think this video will be too long. I got to make this video short and sweet, so then in the next video, I can tell y'all everything that's going on with this car, the, the decision that I'm going to be putting into this car, why I sold my other Mustang, Mustang, the process on everything, how much I put into this and that and this and that, boom, boom, boom. It's just too much to say, but that's going to be in the next video, man. But I do got to go to work right now, which sucks, but I finally got my Mustang, man. We had to wake up early and come get this thing. And tomorrow is gonna be Sunday, a nice day. We're gonna re be revealing that thing. So stay in tune for the next few videos coming up, man. I'm freaking like stoner right now because I'm still like shaking a little bit because I can't even believe this. My I haven't even drove off the lot yet because I'm just like sitting here like trying to freaking think and What's contemplating like what the fuck. <laughs> we in my fucking new 5.0, man. Gosh. Five to the family. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Woo, so many things coming up with this car, man. I can't even wait. Yeah, I just got off work. I didn't drive my Mustang. I drove my Volkswagen. That's from my boy Omar. But guess what? Fucking check engine light just popped up on the car, bro. Taking this shit back to the dealership, bro. I knew something wasn't with this car. I don't even know what to think right now. I got a warranty on the car. I got a double warranty on the car. So I know I'm good for sure. But the fact that there was no check engine light before I bought this car. And I barely drove 20 miles on this car and there's a check engine light now. Something ain't fucking right, bro. Today's Saturday, so obviously I can't go Sunday, but I'm gonna go Monday. Some shit's gonna go down. I don't know what's gonna happen, but this shit's not adding up, bro. I knew there was a slight ticking noise on the engine. Nothing major, but it was slight. Like. I barely, it's not even been a day. I haven't even driven 20 miles in the car and the check engine light is on. Like, what the hell? So, you seen that plastic piece? It was on the car for sure. I knew when I drove the car and then it's advertised on the car. And now, three weeks later, when I finally just bought the car, I even told the guy. I looked at the car again uh, when I bought it, the salesman, I'm like, where's the fog light piece at? It's missing. He's like, it's missing? Like, acting like he didn't know shit. And I'm like, yeah, it's missing. But I was in a rush, I had to go to work so quick, and I was like, you know what, skip it, it's fine. But therefore, I still noticed that th uh, thing to him before the um, before I even drove off the lot. So, I have evidence of that piece missing, the fog light piece, and plus, if he tries to say something else, then he was false advertising. The, the car did not have these problems when I first drove the car. And then plus, the mileage was at 34,927 miles. Through three weeks ago, and I put a down payment on the car all nearly three weeks ago as well, so no one else would buy the car. But if there's three thirty-four thousand nine hundred twenty-seven miles on the car, how did it get to thirty-four thousand nearly eighty miles on the car? I didn't put those miles on. I only put about twenty miles on the car. Not even. I just drove down the street, parked the car, drove my Volkswagen to work. There's no way, no way at all. And even on the paperwork, it shows that this mileage was at 34,970 something when I signed it. I knew I probably should have looked into this 
and did like a little bit more like not research but like looked over the car more before buying it but I assumed that everything was going to be in the perfect condition of what I bought the car for last time so now I really don't know what to think. Pull up fire, bro. to this code. We just pulled up to Omar's house and we're checking out the codes right now. How many codes we had? Six now. Six. So Six one codes. Multiple cylinder misfire detecting. Cylinder four misfire detecting. Cylinder seven misfire detecting. Wow. Multiple cylinders. Cylinder four misfire detecting. And seven. So it's four and seven misfires. So you have multiple misfires. Wow. Talk to her. Six codes. I think I know why. Six I I know codes why. on this damn car. Maybe. And I have not had it for a day. Maybe. Maybe. It's what happened to my car. I'm going to see. Because I had the same thing happen to me and I know what it was. But I'm going to check right now. Monday and see what the hell happens when we go down to this damn dealership.